Hello and welcome to the debate. I'm your host, Sana Makbul, with you at PTV World. And of course, uh, with me are Farooq Batafi and Raja Faisal. We're going to be taking a look at uh, something really special that happened today earlier. Both me and Farooq took the interview of the Prime Minister of Pakistan. And we spoke to him regarding the 15-month long term that has just passed by and the kind of challenges that it posed and, of course, how his leadership dealt with all of them and brought the country where it is today. So we're going to be taking a look back at this 15 month time period and see where the government stands today and the kind of direction that now has been set moving forward as the caretaker setup takes over. So before we start our discussion, we're going to be taking a look at this particular interview on what the Prime Minister had to say. Hello, I'm Sana Makbu from BTB World and with me is Farooq Batafi. Today we're going to be talking about the 488 days long unique term that of course saw many challenges that the country has had to face. And we will be talking about this with the leadership of the country, the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Thank you very much, Mr. Shabashri, for giving us the opportunity. Mr. Prime Minister, I want to ask you with reference to the term that you've led, it has been very unique and there have been many tough decisions that you've had to take. I want to know two things. As a leader, how did you take your team along to support these difficult decisions, many of which were against political interests, like you've mentioned before? And secondly, as the Prime Minister of the country, is there anything that this term has taught you that perhaps that you didn't know before about running the country? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I think this has been my um, uh, stint, uh, which was filled with challenges. Uh, which I had never come across in my lifetime, hmm. never. Uh, challenges of sorts, uh, you know, inflation, economy, floods, uh, devastating floods. Then, of course, uh, our exports, our foreign relations, all these areas were uh, uh, brutally damaged by the previous government hmm. and uh, it was uh, an uphill task a first to uh, grasp and understand the depth of these uh, problems and then uh, repair and recover uh, from these uh, very serious blows uh, committed by the previous government to the state of Pakistan and then, above all, uh, I had uh, to carry a coalition uh, government of uh, 13 parties. Their strength ranging from a uh, party of 84 members to a party of one member. Mm. And uh, I have to you know, admit that uh, I was never uh, cut for this job to carry coalition. I am a person. Um, who believes in brick and mortar, serving the people with uh, freedom of action. But uh, since I was elected by these certain parties, I took this responsibility upon myself hmm. that I'll have to show to the world that yes, uh, under difficult and trying circumstances, uh, then you have uh, a coalition government, then you must take them along, listen to them, respect them, try to resolve issues, have a deeper consultation. And I think this is a lesson I have uh, uh, learned hmm. that uh, when uh, uh, the going is tough, the tough gets tougher. Absolutely. Are you confident you did your best? Well, I'm uh, satisfied okay. uh, that by the grace of God, uh, we are leaving, uh, you know, uh, at a point where things have started improving. That is, by itself, uh, a great sense of satisfaction. Um, uh, you are right, the challenges were humongous, and we have seen the kind of challenges you, your government faced. But in the face of adversity, we saw you showing remarkable leadership as well. Uh, for example, standby arrangement. Uh, with IMF, that was some humongous surprise. Similarly, Geneva speech and your lobbying there. And finally, SIFC also. But all these challenges and their answers actually demand that there is consistent uh, follow-up on every commitment that was made. 
uh, now that you're leaving, how confident are you that we will complete the SBA and we will also be able to do something SBA, standby ar arrangements uh, commitments, and uh, SIFC also, we will be able to do it. This country will be able to totally do it. Totally agree with you. Yeah. Uh, nothing succeeds like success. Mm -hmm. And for that, you have to have a, a plan, a vision, and then implement it in letter and spirit. Words, speeches, stanzas can only try to you know, encourage you, but uh, it can only deliver results through hard work and untiring efforts. Uh, uh, the recent example is uh, obviously IMF deal. Mm -hmm. We uh, never lost hope and uh, hoping against hope. We worked very hard in a united fashion and um, God willing we achieved it. Something which was at one point in time I thought is well nigh impossible. You did it on the last yeah, day. But uh, you know, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Two, SIFC is a program, a strategy, a mechanism. I have a full faith that if we are able to implement it through the uh, approach of whole of the government, that means federal government, provincial governments, uh, establishment, bureaucracy, uh, political leadership, experts, professionals, and then put our uh, whole effort into it, uh, through a sincerity of purpose, believe me, we will turn around our economy uh, in the next few years. Huh. But uh, again, as I said, it requires leadership huh. by example. It requires untiring efforts, huh. sacrifice, sweat and blood. Without this, we will not achieve anything. And I have no doubts that this time it will happen. Right. Uh, regarding uh, turning around the economy, I wanted to actually talk about the geo geoeconomics, age of geoeconomics, right? At this moment, we are talking about connectivity and working with the region. Recently, you made a statement regarding India also that Pakistan will be ready to reciprocate any peace gesture. Now, the question is that we have been hearing this repeatedly coming from our side. Do you think that India, at any point, will be ready to reciprocate the Let gesture? history decide yeah. that we always, you know, approached, um, you know, on these issues. Our approach was based on sincerity and the fact that uh, this part of the world can always uh, live in peace if we resolve our issues yeah. and uh, move forward. That is my belief and article of faith with me. Yeah. But it takes two to tango. Yeah. If India doesn't respond positively, then so be it. Right. We uh, have tried our best, we'll continue doing this, right. but uh, history will judge for itself who was right and who was wrong. But if India doesn't reciprocate, so uh, we cannot wish away our neighbor. No, so do we have a not, plan B? We will not dither, we will not waste our time, and we will follow our direction. Thank you very much, Prime Minister, for your precious time, and thank you very much for your views. Uh, viewers, you have listened to the Prime Minister's interview. Of course, uh, while this government's term uh, comes to an end, the journey of democracy will continue, and we will. Uh, keep on bringing you latest news and views as they happen. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.